Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really nice um, desk telephone and uh, this is an ITT telephone. This telephone was made in Canada and this is Lewis's telephone from North Carolina and basically he's got a note uh, here with a telephone it says uh, this telephone was purchased recently due to the fact that you know every phone they have um, in an electrical power power failure um, that the all the electrical telephones go bad and uh, he wanted to get an old telephone so that uh, when they had power problems with the telephones that uh, that this would work and so he requested uh, a black line cord because right now it has a gray one on it uh, that a black line cord be installed on it and uh, he's got a number plate here that he wanted installed in the uh, in the finger wheel and I'm going to show you here why we have this telephone all taken apart. But this is a, a nice desk telephone and it's an ITT. And uh, this gives you a little bit of a, a look at the telephone. And uh, I'll show you some of the reason why we have this all taken apart. Um, what happens a lot of times with these telephones, and I'm going to go ahead and move the uh, number plate aside and I'm going to take the uh, body off and I'm going to show you what happens a lot of times uh, when people try to replace uh, the number card and take the finger wheel off what happens is and he says in this note that um, he couldn't get dial tone or any other sign of life out of this telephone and uh, we're down to the rotary here and basically um, I'm going to show you here real quick try to move the light around a little bit here so it doesn't reflect if you look at this rotary what happens is there's a little tab right here in this uh, area and it's been bent backwards so basically when you try to take this finger wheel off uh, what happens a lot of times is when you turn the finger wheel backwards like you're taking it off it will bend this little tab here on the rotary and so therefore the rotary is in a position that you won't get any dial tone or anything because it's like in the middle of trying to dial a number and so that gets bent backwards and if you see this little nylon gear here or stop basically um, it breaks in half and so it just creates a lot of havoc and the spring gets uh, kinda entwined and it just uh, it just messes everything up once uh, once this tab gets pushed backwards and uh, your nylon uh, stop here gets broke so it just causes a lot of trouble now another thing I noticed was the network was loose in here so it, you know someone's probably been into the telephone to try to find out what was going on with it but we're going to uh, reinstall a black uh, modular uh, cord line cord on this telephone and we're going to have to go in and repair this rotary now if we can't repair this one uh, right away what we're going to do is replace this one and um, we'll have to repair this down the line because it's going to take a little bit to repair this we have to locate this plastic or nylon uh, stop and then we also have to fix this uh, this tab that uh, keeps the rotary from when it returns keeps it from going too far backwards and um, so it might be simpler to just go ahead and replace this part of the rotary uh, which has everything on it this is the back of it and just repair this when I get some extra time so but this phone was basically made in Canada here I'm gonna pick it up and show it to you real quick it's an ITT phone and uh, as you can see on the back of it here it says uh, it's a 500 set it's got a date code of 1277 and it was made 
in Canada. So it's a really cool telephone and uh, it's a nice telephone and it's a rotary so we're going to get this all squared away for Lewis but uh, that's what can happen when you try to take the finger wheel uh, off and the finger wheel doesn't remove uh, very easily or um, you know they don't poke a, a little pin down through the hole on the uh, finger wheel there's a little pin that you're supposed to uh, a hole that you're supposed to poke a pin into and then you turn the, the finger wheel backwards counterclockwise and basically it's supposed to just slide right off but they don't always just slide right off and then we get into a situation where uh, things can get broke a little bit and uh, cause all kinds of havoc in the rotary and that's probably why Lewis didn't have any dial tone because the phone uh, the rotary mechanism was in the mode where it was in the middle of a number and uh, in these rotary telephones that would be like the pulse signal and you wouldn't get any receiver transmit you wouldn't get any dial tone or anything and when you're stuck in the middle of a situation like that uh, where it thinks it's in the middle of dialing a number and that's where the problem uh, comes up you can't get any dial tone or anything because the rotary is not set in the right position to get dial tone and transmit and uh, receive so anyway uh, basically we're going to go into this telephone and repair it and uh, this is the initial checkout of uh, Lewis's telephone and uh, this is an ITT 500 set rotary from uh, Canada. It was made in Canada. So it's really a cool telephone and uh, it's a keeper and um, it's a very nice dust telephone and uh, should last a long time once we get it repaired and um, we'll get it taken care of. We're going to try to do another video of this telephone once it's repaired. We're just really busy at the shop and we got to see how it goes. So. Um, if I can get another video in of this telephone after it's repaired. And we're going to either repair this rotary or we're going to stick another uh, one in it and then repair this down the road. So depends on how much time we have and, and what we can do with it right away. But uh, I'd like to get this uh, another video up to you of this after it's repaired and show you the working telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. One last thing that I wanted to tell you about uh, this little tab that breaks over um, and I'm going to try to get the reflection off of the Okay, this little tab on the rotary here that I'm pointing at, uh, if you can see on the video, I'm not sure that you can see, but it actually is a bent up tab. And what happens is when they bend it up and then it gets bent back down, it cracks the metal here on the tab. So if we try to bend this tab back over, what's going to end up happening is it's going to break off. So there is a way to repair these. Um, and kind of get another tab up into that area but uh, you know it, it takes a little bit of time to repair these and uh, we'll just have to see how it goes but if this tab is uh, bent back up where it's supposed to be it's not going to have the strength that it needs and it's also going to probably just break right off right at this point so it's uh, you know when when you try to take these finger wheels off sometimes it doesn't always go the way you planned and um, you know it can really uh, create uh, a bad situation inside here because of all the little working parts and um, these little uh, nylon plastic uh, stops that go on the other side of the rotary um, goes in this area right here show you real quick it lays right in here and it also hits your uh, finger connections so your contacts and it, and it also stops uh, the gear in here and so does the other tab so once it gets pressed backwards in the wrong direction it snaps everything and breaks it so it, it's uh, it doesn't always go like you want it to go when you try to take those finger wheels off 
and it can ruin things. So um, it, it just is uh, a repair kind of gone bad here. And uh, we'll get it all squared away and get it, get it uh, back into working condition for Lewis. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone. Thank you for watching and have a great day.